We're trying to reduce the threat of large-scale wildfires by reducing the number of trees uh, across the national forests in the western U.S. When there's too much fuel uh, or vegetation, then that creates larger, more intense wildfires. The other thing that's happening is we're having more intense drought, and in a lot of cases, less precipitation, um, which stresses the trees and creates a situation where they're weakened. I think this work is incredibly urgent. Um, I think the forests as we know them in California and across the West, they're dying. They're being destroyed through fire. They're dying from drought, disease, and insects. And like I said, they're, they're dying at a pace that we're having trouble keeping up with. We're asking the Forest Service to uh, make their treatments lighter, to uh, focus on smaller trees and shrubs, leave the larger trees, and ensure that the scenery that, uh, and recreation opportunities that people enjoy along the North Yuba River are protected. Well, it's a full, it's, it, you know, it's got lights, it's got a little stove top. Uh, My wife and I camp uh, in the Yuba River drainage. We go hiking there. I was just there a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, this is an important area to us and we don't want to see it. We don't want to see it burn up and we don't want to see it logged over. <laughs> people will have to get used to seeing a less dense forest because that's a healthy forest. But right now they're, they're, they're pretty dense and pretty crowded. And I think that's uh, mistakenly thought of as being normal. I'm sure it could easily look something like this in the future. You can see the, the difference in the density of trees. The, the projects we're gonna look at today are actually essentially based right around Camptonville and we're going to go we're going to go look at a hand cut hand pile unit that's out here and then we've got a timber cell an active timber cell that's kind of right to reduce the amount of understory vegetation and ladder fuels I once heard someone describe forest thinning and logging operations um, as open heart surgery you know, afterwards, it's, it's not a pretty sight. It, it can look a little bit rough, but uh, forests recover and they're, they're very resilient. Mm -hmm. 